marriage therefore explains the resurrection secondly brotherhood also explains the resurrection brotherhood but first and foremost the resurrection of jesus is marriage the resurrection of jesus secondly is brotherhood go and tell my brethren upon his resurrection john 20 17 go and tell my brethren the word brethren is the greek word adelphos a d e l p h o s adelphos in the greek it means we came from the same womb so the resurrection of jesus means we have the same father so first of all the resurrection means that we are united with jesus in marriage number two it means we are united with jesus in the same womb so jesus will relate with us as in a marriage that does not divorce jesus will relate with us as in a marriage that does not divorce he will also relate with us as a brother adelphos hebrews 2 11 for both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are all of one for which cause he's not ashamed to call them brethren adelphos john 15 13 greater love hath no man than this that a man laid down his life for his friends the third one is resurrection establishes friendship number one marriage number two brotherhood number three friendship number four the resurrection also establishes service where we now begin to serve as servants so we are now by the resurrection married to christ by the resurrection we are brothers with jesus nothing like he's my elder brother i am the Juno. no 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 don't bring uh, uh, uh don't bring uh, african tradition into the bible we are brothers no more no less by the resurrection we are friends by the resurrection we are servants look at matthew 20 26 but it shall not be so among you but whosoever will be great among you let him be your master 27 and whosoever will be chief among you let him be your servant 28 even as a son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many what else listen carefully so the resurrection brings service where we serve god so therefore we now in the resurrection have employer employee relationship in the resurrection so what do we have first of all marriage in the resurrection number two brethren in the resurrection number three friendship in the resurrection number four employer employee what else we also have in the resurrection a kingdom a king and his subjects we are in the kingdom of priests revelation 1 5 and 6 revelation 5 9 and 10 we are birthed into a kingdom colossians 1 13 he has delivered us from the kingdom of darkness and has translated us into into the kingdom of light then we are also a nation first peter 2 9 we are a holy nation what else we are neighbors we are neighbors the old testament say you shall love the lord your god and your neighbor as yourself they asked jesus in matthew 22 they said which is the greatest he said love the lord your god with all your soul strength and with all your might and the second is like unto it love your neighbor as yourself he said upon these two hang all the law and the prophets matthew 22 36 to 40. he said which of them is my neighbor he saith, is the man who came to the aid of the man who was in trouble then he said therefore go and do like in other words he shows us how to be neighbors he is the good neighbor he has shown us how to be servants he has shown us how to be sons he has shown us everything and every way he wants us to relate so as we begin to look at relationship and nurture them we nurture every relationship because that is exactly the example jesus is unto us 
We are not to read psychology to know how to relate. Mm -mm. We are not to look for how people relate in their philosophies. The resurrection of Jesus is our philosophy. The resurrection of Jesus is our philosophy. The gospel is our ideology. The gospel is our ideology. And so, we build and nurture relationships. We build and nurture relationships. Patterning them after the gospel of Christ. Don't forget, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. So, I'd like you to stay with me because this series is going to be a bit deeper than the previous because it's critical to understand relationships. Can I have a good amen? Stand on your feet. That's all I got for you tonight.